Okay. Um, T-Brain, doing great, brother. Okay, you want to absolutely master. Well, continue doing your down, down, ups. You're doing excellent with those. At every transition, pull back a little bit in your mind, just a hair, and that'll actually keep you in the beat, uh, which you're getting way better with. So the scales that we've been really focusing on are these active scales in the minor, and then in the weak position. So play them slowly and make sure you're hammering on and sliding in the same places every time. Hammer. Pull off. Okay, tonic on the fifth string. Same pattern. Play them very slowly. Now you get to your first anomaly. You're going to slide on your middle finger, but start with your ring still. And that obviates position shift. You barely even notice it, the B shift happening. Whoops, because you use a new finger. It kind of masks the shift. And this is the anomaly, second anomaly. You start tonic three on your middle finger, but then the other fingers are just one and three, very easy. You're back to sliding on three. So those four versions of the same scale you want to tease apart and have very distinct in your mind. Okay, now when you're playing the Luna song, um, wait, let me think, what else did we play today? Uh, we played your thirds, so continue to do your parallel thirds. Major, minor, minor, major, major. And break them up melodically, especially on the low strings. And do it in D, do it in G, skip the G string, and then do it in E. So Luna is just two chord song, right? B, which we're going to play the triad B, 9, 8, 7, F shape, and then E, same triad, 2, 1, 0, oh. just different fingers. We talked about how this triad can be embellished. You can just play the notes of it melodically, or you can embellish it with your pinky on the B string or the G string. Melodically it would be... So the first riff that kind of sets up the solo starts with that. It's based on this, but it, it hammers on into the middle note, the third, and it goes. And it repeats it down here. With the E chord. So B chord. E chord. And then the solo actually begins on the A form, B chord at four. This is your scale position. And it starts with a pull off on the G string, so it goes. So it's like. That's your setup lick. Then it does it again. With the second middle finger slide, grace note. So first two together are. And the third phrase starts with the same setup, but it's much longer. It goes. That's it, brother. Enjoy.